got ourselves Flex Security going up first versus Team One. It looks like Monkey Flip might be first up. Monkey Flip on this. It looks like Monkey Flip. Maybe unless he's just AFKing. Ah, I'm swapping the wrong people. But what is everybody on this team just going to go on over? Okay, so Flex is two. Monkey is three. I think that's what's going on. <laughs> I love how you guys do the spins. I don't know why, but I love how you guys do the spins. Also, Demonic, my man, have you seen my video on assassination earlier today? Might want to give it a go. Might like it a lot. Got Monkey Flip going up versus Flexi. Gonna be resting in area immediately with a stun onto Monkey Flip. Goes in for a trick and Lexium. And that's gonna be tricked. It's burned by the both of them. Harpoon coming out onto Flexing. Does get a root into Monkey Flip, but that's gonna be in cap right after. So actually, Harpoon Root helped out Flexing quite a bit. That was karma used by the monk. So that's quite a big defensive right there. Does have 1.5 minute CD on that karma. I think maybe unless it's like 1.2 nowadays. Big, big the aim is on to the hunter by the monk monkey flip that's gonna force the turtle shell out of flex and cutie and as two of them get a reset big defensives have been used and that's gonna be monkey flip continuing with more damage it's gonna be a faint death by flexing with a root onto monkey flip does trap one of the images i think it was trying to trap monkey flip instead and the monk still got plenty of damage rolling if only he can catch up to flexing all that mobility but flexing got the kites rolling there's gonna be a feign death for a second into an in-cap. Monkey Flip looks like has him locked down. Touch of death, not even needed. Monkey Flip taking him out. Weapons of order is Kieran being used. Getting Yoink back in there by Nightmares, the Death Knight. Still playing Dark Sim. Miz gonna be able to just tear through the monk immediately. Big old helping hand, gripping Malor Pal in. Not even giving him a chance or an opportunity. Or oh, the hand really doesn't give him an opportunity. To catch a bit of a reset. Does he go for the Dark Sim? Dark Sim coming out. What is he steal? I think he steals a Hodge. I think he actually steals a Hodge from the Lord Bala. Perfect opportunity. Nightmares does have a DR Hodge. But it's so cool. I don't really see that being used that often. And it's going to be Nightmares bailing out. He sees the big wings out of my Lord Bala. If only he can steal wings. Or maybe he can. There's going to be Snowball getting thrown at my Lord. But he doesn't really, really have a Snowball fight. And without a death bag, the death that goes down pretty quickly. My Lord Pallet topping himself up with wings and a Ward of Glory at low health. And that's going to be a Tense God next. Man, these boys are just burning through one another pretty quickly. Wings available. Hodge and Tense does have Thorns available. And Tint. You're just going to have to find a way to deal with another set of Wings. Bard skin in this. It looks like mobility comes into play for this match. Does he have the mobility required for this map? Because he was having a hard time with the mobility last map. Tricky coming out from Lord Pallet. Does go for a rebuke onto the Convoke. Burning Tricky for Convoke. Not the worst idea ever. So Tint is just going to have to find a way to burst down Lord Pallet without the need of Convoke. He, I mean, he probably could burn through all the different defensives. And then find a way to get the Trinket out of Lord Pallet. Then go for a stun. Doesn't run into Consecration immediately. Still getting caught out of stealth. No stealth rake opener with a stun. Going to be a Hodge by my lord onto tent getting him quite low P pallet just got so much damage as long as he has cooldowns to commit even on a hodge he could do quite a lot tent leaping in with a big old meme does he go for a set of big bite onto my lord pala as he has himself berserk as well as tiger's fury rolling my lord does generate a lot of holy power and it's gonna convert all of it into ward of glory the lower health he is the better the ward of glory is but he keeps dipping to about half health and then get himself topped off right back. Another Hodge onto a tent and Milord Pallet trying to make this final verdict legendary work. Does go for a rebuke, missing it though. So Tent could go for a cyclone, freebie cyclone, almost making it, but looks like he ranged him. Unless he summoned the him. which I don't think that's what happened. There's gonna be a bit of a standstill. Tent got himself thorns. Looks like Pallet is getting those melees into the thorns, but Word of Glories are still coming into play. As long as he has the holy power, he should be okay maintain himself but that's a lot of damage aggressively that he's sacrificing hodge onto 10 barson coming out his wings come in the lord pallet could have maybe delayed those wings until barson wasn't available it looks like tent is gonna dip into bear form for a second with a frenzy region but then pops out of it immediately probably should have waited in there a little bit longer big damage on the tent it looks like the final verdict the gavel goes down slamming into the feral down he goes with well, not even five minutes into this duel, Chicago is going to be next. I think he's trying to go for a bit of an honor duel with Milord. Honor duel in quotation mark. I think he's just really waiting for the wings to be off from Milord Pal. He's like, yo, I'm going to wait until his wings are off. Then we're going to duel. Look at Chicago. Now he's prepared. Now he's ready. Now he's going. Now he's ready. Now he's ready. He was like, well, maybe I can just wait out the wings here for a second. <laughs> uh, probably that's not what he's trying to do. He's probably just trying to go for a bit of an honor duel. 
but you might as well right <laughs> my god team two just got decimated with only two people left can chicago turn around versus Malord pala gonna be a little bit of a rematch less dampening this time hodge onto chicago as he goes in for the fire elemental the fire guy the fire bro doesn't really do that much damage right at least right now chicago is in a really bad spot lane lasso trick coming up from Malord pala wall of for chicago trying to go for a self heal norbic available does knock the paladin back hex to follow no way out of it unless he goes for a bubble and there goes Flashcraft for Chicago. At least get himself a little bit of a buffer shield with a Stormkeeper to follow. The Fire Bro again just kind of AFKing sitting there. I think Chicago needs to get like kind of a macro. Maybe when the summon the Fire Bro to like an attack macro. So then the Fire Bro will just attack whatever the target is. It might not be that bad of an idea. I think we might even be able to combine someone Fire Bro and a Meteor together and attack macro. Looks like Chicago is going to end up outranging Milord Pallet with a lasso for a bit. Hodge onto Chicago. Does Milord have any damage? Wings available very, very soon. Looks like he's not going to have wings to commit. Trying to blast some damage into Chicago, but the, the self heal playstyle for Chicago is going to keep him alive for a little bit. Small shield from the Maldraxxus Covenant does roll in. Knock back onto Milord Pala as he goes in for a bit of a healing surge. Trying to catch up on a bit of heals. Big lava burst coming out. Dipping Milord Palace health quad down. Wall available for Chicago. Perfect opportunity because Milord Palace got some damage rolling. Chicago needs a self heal. Chickens out of that Hodge and looking to sprint the hell away from the Paladin. Does he have the mobility? The horse is up. It looks like Chicago is going to be going down. Not much you could really do in that situation unless you have some kind of CC. I think at some point you need to maybe get a knockback and then start healing immediately. War Grand going to be up next. It's going to be quite a tough one for his survival hunter to go against the Paladin. Looks like Milord Paladin again is not going to let Demoniac play the game at all. Hmm. 7 minutes in his duel. 13% dampener stun onto Milord. And looks like War Grand is going to go for some free beat damage. He does have Coordinator Assault. Did not have Eagles with it. I think you might want to combine it together, wouldn't you? War Grand trying to kite away from Milord. As the wings do roll out, turning the attention onto the pet, you might as well generate holy power. It's very much a fury warrior playstyle here. You might as well hit the pet in order to self heal. Why does that sword look so awkward in that animation when he's frozen like that? I think it's supposed to look a lot smoother, but when you just freeze frame it, some of them look kind of weird. You know what I mean? But this final verdict animation looks so good. Look at that, the way he swings that weapon, it looks so great. Hodge and Wargren could be done and done here. Trinkets into a turtle. Has to go for a full defensive setup. The pet might actually go down here if Malor continues pounding on that thing. It looks like he's actually turning full attention onto the pet. Wargren does interrupt the beating of the pet with a freezing trap. Might have to go for a full camo. Maybe not gonna do for that. Not gonna do that for the time being. Actually just gonna kite Malor, stun out in the open. Resonant Arrow does get a trinket out of Malor Palom. It is going to cut him back into Resonant and Arrow. Does he have any damage? He does have grenades in the dots. But he doesn't really have Eagle or anything. Going to be a pet sack for War Gren. Milord Pala actually is going to turn the attention to the pet. Taking it out. So the pet sack can't really help him. Camo for War Gren. Should be able to reset and summon a pet. Unless Milord Pala goes really quickly to snag an eyeball. That's going to be plenty of revive pet opportunity for War Gren. He's going to have the pet out of camo. Can't really do much about it. And Milord, if he is paying attention, he should be able to see where the pet is at. It looks like Wargun is going to dip out from behind the pillar. Gets a free damage on him either way. It's just so much pressure, so much damage out of this Paladin. Can Wargun actually... I mean, the dot play style, he can do it. But the Word of Glory is immediately just kind of nullify all that damage. Reason Trap available. I think he's going to have to have himself big birds. Bubble getting forced out of Milord. Does he have the big go here? Wings available while Bubble's up. I think it's just over. And nothing you could do because this literally bubbled. He's literally in immunity. He has enough burst with wings just to end it. That goes another one for by Milord Pala. No. <laughs> Pala just stealing the show today. What the hell? Oh my god.